Hey everybody, so for today's movie review, I'm going to talk about the film Gravity. Gravity came out around October of 2013. Um, I unfortunately wasn't able to get around to it back when the film first came out. Um, I was luckily able to see it today though, uh, around the time I filmed this review. Um, around the time I filmed this review too, I, I know um, already, and those who've seen my, um, you know, my thoughts video about the recent Oscar nominations. Uh, this film was nominated for Best Picture, and it's nominated in some other categories. And I gotta tell you, after seeing this film, I have no doubt in my mind that uh, this film is gonna win the Best Visual Effects Award at the Oscars. I mean, this film is just really, really incredible with visuals. Uh, so for the plot of Gravity, in this film, you guys, basically, George Clooney and Sandra Bullock, they're two astronauts that work for NASA. They're basically up in space trying to fix this giant satellite of some kind. Uh, while they're fixing it, they get this report by um, their database, you know, who they're always talking back and forth to while they're up in space. Uh, one of them's telling them that, uh, specifically George Clooney, that there's a, a huge batch of debris coming in, and if they don't hurry soon and basically stop what they're doing, they're going to get hit by this debris, and it's basically going to kill them and destroy the satellite they're currently working on. So George Clooney kind of very much convinces to, to uh, basically convinces Sandra Bull to, to get off the satellite with him, and they do the best they can to try to get off it before the debris comes in. But unfortunately, they don't time it right, and as a result, they're both kind of floating out in space. And they have, like, no rocket or no ship to go back to because they're so far away from it. Uh, they don't have any, like, alignings with each other, so they both kind of lose track of each other for a while. And basically throughout the course of the movie, Sandra Bullock and George Clooney have to figure out while they're floating away in space, um, you know, really, really far away to the point where, like, it's just them and whatever lights inside their helmet you can see in some shots because there's just no, there's no light source coming in anywhere, so... You can definitely tell that they're in space and that there's very little light sources around them. And basically throughout the rest of the movie, like I said, uh, the two of them have to figure out how they're going to get back to Earth, uh, what's available to them, what they can actually float to, what they can actually do while they're floating around. And um, basically, you know, it's their journey of trying to get back to Earth and um, basically survive this debris attack that they faced while trying to fix the satellite. So Gravity was a very good film, you guys. You can definitely tell that Alfonso Cuaron, who directed the film, and who also directed um, Children of Men and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban in the past, uh, he spent a lot of time with this film, and it definitely shows. I think I heard somewhere that it took him like four years or so to make the movie, and it definitely shows because there's so many great visual effects. There's a lot of scenes in here that really feel like they shot this in outer space, like um, you know the, the planets are aligned right, and it, it's just so brilliantly shot and filmed and uh the visual effects department did such a beautiful job with it you really feel like you're watching something in outer space in this movie for the positives and negatives this is like i was saying before this is easily one of the best visual films i've saw from 2013 though we are in 2014 right now as far because i know that this film came out in 2013 just looking back on that year and looking back at all the other really good visual films i think gravity just crushes those other films when it comes to the visuals because this film as far as visuals go, I had no complaints with this film. It just, uh, on a visual level, this film would just look perfectly fine as it was. It was just so brilliantly, um, the visual in this film were just so brilliantly done. This is easy Alfonso Cuaron's best film to date. I mean, this film just crushes Harry Potter 3. And um, though I didn't see Children of Men, uh, from what I saw of it and from what I heard about it, from what I know about it, this film just really crushes that film too. So easy one of Alfonso Cuaron's best films. Uh, Sandra Bullock and George Clooney, they both have played really terrific characters in the film. Every time they got hit, every time that they were telling a story about their past where, you know, they got hurt or they were feeling good about their, themselves for some reason, or they were helping others or, you know, someone else, you know, turned them down or something like that. You really felt for these characters. You really got, um, you really want, you really cared about, you know, what was going to happen to them. You wanted them to succeed and to get back to earth and you didn't want neither one of them to die. You really wanted them to get back to earth and to just continue the lives that they had. And, uh, when you see the film, I don't want to get into too much detail. Um, Sandra Bullock, her, you can definitely tell with her character when she gets back there, she almost kind of wants to create a new life for herself simply because of the current life she's living and she's not very happy with. And there was something that was also explained in the film that really affected her personal life in a way. And so my guess is, um, you know, 
given that, you know, for those who haven't seen the film yet, if she does still happen to get back to Earth, you know, what basically we were kind of figuring out throughout the film and kind of putting the pieces together as we watch the film that we, we kind of get the impression that by the time she gets back to Earth, she really wants to repiece her life and kind of take it in a better direction that she personally will feel much happier with as far as living life goes. There are some very gripping and terrific, um, t terrifying moments in the film. So, like, really, like I said, really gripping, really terrifying moments in this. Uh, I remember I, I saw the film with my dad. So I remember when I was watching with him, like he would grab my leg at times, and he, you know, he would he would kind of be like you know ho holding on to his seat like that, and um, just just some very gripping and terrifying moments, specifically when like Sandra Bullock and George Clooney are hitting all this debris or metal material, and you know they're kind of hitting all this stuff throughout space. I mean, it, you really got the impression that there was a huge impact whenever they hit something in this. Uh, so just very gripping, very terrifying moments in this film, and it really, really was effective. There were some very impressive first-person shots in this film, like specifically, um, like there's shots where you really get the impression of what George Clooney's looking at or what Sandra Bullock is looking at. You really get the impression that you're inside this astronaut suit with these characters and you're looking out and seeing what they're seeing and just some really jaw-dropping first-person shots in this film and it's really the film is worth seeing in 3d alone just for those first-person shots because i mean the 3d really really had a great impact on those sh uh, shots in the movie i really like the film's intriguing musical score i was really happy with the musical score in this film and i think it's even nominated for best musical score right now in the oscars just a really effective musical score that they established for this and the thing is there's actually a lot of scenes in here where the scene itself is silent and I think it almost adds to the film but whenever you do hear music in the film the musical score I think is very effective. Uh, this film has a huge sense of realism when it comes, comes to like what NASA might face if something were to go wrong in space. I mean this film has a huge sense of realism. Um, I'm sure they easily had to talk to some NASA people to really get the impression of, you know, if this thing were to really go down in space, if things really went this wrong in space, what would it be like? What would it play out like? And more than likely, well, how would these two characters end up in the end because of this event? So we really got the impression of, you know, if this were to happen, if this really were to happen to something at NASA, how would it play out like? And I think the film does a brilliant job of giving us exactly what it would play out like. Really great 3D in this film. This is probably the first film I've seen in a long time where uh, I would almost recommend watching it in 3D if you can. I know it's probably not going to be in the theater for very long, but if you can see it in 3D, I mean, this film is really, really, really effective in 3D. The 3D almost adds to the experience of the movie, so huge thumbs up when it comes to the 3D of this film. It's just a really impressive 3D movie for sure. Uh, for the negatives, you guys, some of the conflicts I thought were too conveniently resolved and what i mean by that is like there's there's some scenes a quick little scene in the movie it's not really a spoiler where like sandra bullock um has no access to her suit in one scene she finds this little pod thing that she's able to temporarily take her suit off in and things of that nature um you know she, but in the pod though she's completely far away there's things going on in the pod that really makes it hard for her to get back to her suit so she can go back out, back out into space and you know explore some more or things of that nature uh, but it's 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 a little cheap because like there's one scene where like you know she's out without the suit on floating around this pod thing that has oxygen and next second you know she automatically has the suit on and is outside of the pod so it's really never quite clear you know how she was able to get that suit so conveniently without any scratches on her because if when you watch the scene closely it's just like yeah I don't think she'd be able to get her suit without at least hurting herself at least once so some of the conflicts in this film I thought were too a little easily convenient they just um. You can definitely tell that they, it happens for the simple reason that the story had to continue. There had to be a resolution. And I don't know. There's just some little nitpick scenes where it's just like, okay, they, you can definitely tell that was a little too convenient. I think the film does get a little too sciencey at times, specifically at the beginning. Um, it doesn't do this for very long, thankfully. But like when it does happen, it just feels like you feel like an idiot watching it. Because like George Clooney and Sandra Bullock, there's some scenes where they're talking about things that you really don't know what they're talking about. It's like, okay, well, you have to put this and this and then this here. And if you remember at school, to the theory of this, this, and this, you'll know that this, this, and this does this. And it's just like, okay, I, I really don't get all this NASA talk. So there's just some really sciencey talk in this film that either I wish they would have explained it some more or 
simplified it so that people like me who know little, little to nothing about NASA would be able to get it. Um, there is some, they talk about their personal lives a lot in this movie, specifically George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. Um, but we never really get to see like flashbacks or, you know, them thinking about it. I don't know if that was a budget decision or what that was, but I would have liked to have seen some little quick snippet scenes where we could see a little bit of their personal life, specifically Sandra Bullock. She does talk about, you know, why she's, she's sad and why NASA is kind of the last thing she has in her life going on for her. And I would just really like to see, you know, like these characters in their personal life, you know, what it's like for them to live on Earth, you know, what's their life outside of NASA. Even if it was just little quick little three-minute things throughout the movie, you know, kind of them thinking about it or something, I don't know. They, they talk about it so much, just when you want to see a little bit of it play out and you never get to do it. The whole film takes place in space pretty much. And I would have liked to have seen some personal life scenes from these two characters play out at some point because we care about them so much we really want to see just how happy or sad their lives are from their personal lives based off what they talk about throughout the movie and we really don't get to see that it's a little unfortunate that like i said i don't know if that's a budget decision or what that was but i would have liked to have seen that happen and overall by the third act of the film i think the film just kind of runs out of things to do it either repeats itself or it does the same thing we saw 30 minutes ago and i, I feel like the film just kind of runs out of things to do after a while but overall, guys, I give Gravity an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a terrific visual film. I, I Like I said, no doubt in my mind is this going to win a ton of visual uh, effect awards at the Oscars. Uh, I'm sure Sandra Bullock and George Clooney are definitely going to be remembered for this film for a long time. And um, Very, very good film. Alfonso Cuaron, if he plans on making more films, I think this film will easily get him into any production that he wants to make at this point, I bet. So... Um, terrific film. Like I said, a few little nitpicks every once in a while, but for sure the visuals and the 3D in this film are terrific. So make sure you see Gravity, guys. It's quite a treat.